or the lying down position. So good to have you. We're gonna take the bridge. Feet are on the floor and lift up your booty. So you're gonna be inhaling and on your exhale, lift and lower down. Inhale, hi Cheryl, and exhale, hello. Two, lower down. And exhale, three. Yep, just get started, relax, tension, breathe into the belly, four, five, and six. You're feeling your hamstrings, you're feeling your glutes, waking up your back. Hi, Karen. Now you're going to stay up on this one and just enjoy. Hold ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lower your spine. Now we're going to take the right leg in and extend the left leg and just roll that ankle five times. Just imagine you are drawing a very big circle the other way now. Inhale. And we're going to switch those legs, okay? This leg comes in, this leg goes down. Just on the floor and move the ankle. You're concentrating on the top ankle and five the other way. Now pull both legs in and point and flex, point and flex. Now we're going to curl our chin and uh, shoulder blades off the mat. Now we're going to take the right leg in and extend the left and then pull the left leg in and then exhale. Now if this is too hard, you can put your head and shoulders on a pillow and you can also make the legs more vertical to make it easier. Otherwise, your shoulder blades are off the mat. And we're going to take six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now take a breather. This time we're going to take the fingertips behind your head, lift up your shoulder blades, rotate the shoulder off the mat, rotate from the spine, shoulder off the mat, exhale, point, exhale, point, rotation, Rotation. Now we're going to add on. Pull your toes back. Now point your toes. Pull your toes back. Now point your toes. Four. And pull your toes back. Three. Point. Two. And one. One. And then relax your head. Take your hands between your feet. Now your knees are wider like your little butterfly. Five, four, and you can rock a little bit. Three, two, and then one. We're gonna take both legs up. Now we haven't really um, stretched them uh, hamstrings hard yet, so just have a knee bend. Tuck your chin, get your shoulders off the mat. One and two, very good. And one and two. You're inhaling to the outer ribs and you exhale and you pull your belly in and you can point. Now add a flex, so pull your toes back. Now point on the next two and flex. Point on the next two. Good, lift up a little higher poly in your head. Good, there you go, that's more abs. And one more set guys, point, point, flex, flex. Terrific. Now hands to the feet. Happy baby. Ah, you can rock a little if you'd like. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take another inhale. And on your exhale, we are going to hug the shins. Now at first, the modification for double leg stretch is a vertical stretch. Swing, swing your arms around, hug your shins, stretch everything and hug. Now adding on, shoulder blades off the mat. Inhale, stretch and exhale, hug. Inhale, stretch and exhale, hug. And open and hug. All right, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. All right. We're going to take a hand to each knee 
and move the knees around in a circle. Hi, Michelle. All right. Let's go the other way. Four. Good. You can make it as big as you want. You get more flexible as you're doing this. And then we're going to do a double leg lower. Let me show you the modification first in case you can keep your knees bent and just tip your toes towards the floor. You feel your abs here? That's the modification. If you'd like to add on, lift your legs up. Now hands behind your head, lift your shoulders and lower and lift. Now, if you're feeling good and you want to add on, you can point, flex, point, flex. Four, three, two, inhale and exhale, lower down, move a little right and left. Now we're going to put some moves together. This is like you're a cross country skier with your legs and you're going to rotate with your torso. Hands behind your head, lift up your legs. All right, we're going to rotate the right shoulder towards the left knee and the right shoulder towards the left knee and the left shoulder towards the left knee. Point, point, flex, flex. All right, 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6, Five, I know they're hard. If you need to rest, do four, three, two, one, rest. Woo, okay, right ankle to left thigh. You may need a pillow. Reach your hands through and hug. Now you're gonna feel a hip stretch. Make, make a little rock if you need to, back and forth. Good, yep, enjoy. See how it feels. Okay, five, four, three, two, and then one. Let's take it to the other side, ankle to thigh. Reach your hands through the window. Hold on to your thigh, hold on to your, or your shin. And remember, if you want to rock, you can. Good, I'm glad you got the pillow if you need to. Make it a little easier. Make it a little uh, easier to hold the stretch. You don't have to struggle. Those of you with any knee issues, you can pull your pinky toe back towards the shin and that'll increase the stretch and true up the knee position. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Take another inhale. And on the exhale, take those feet back down. You're doing great. Lower the feet. Now you're gonna do a double a double footed bridge, or if you would like to add on, you can lift up your right leg like a pencil, point it, and then you can lift up and down. Now, if that's too hard, go back to two feet. Two, three, four, five, Six, good. Seven, eight, nine. Now, when you get to the top, do a 10 little pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lower that foot. Very good. Lower the booty. Now, lift up the other leg, point it up. Now, when you're ready, curl up and down. Curl up and down. And three and down. Four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now at the top, you can have 10 little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and inhale and exhale, lower that foot, lower down, and hands come to the knees. Now as a unit, you can move your knees around. And we're gonna go the other way. Very good. All right, we got it. Now we're gonna let those feet down. And you can keep with two feet if you'd like, or you can curl up and you can lift up your right leg. Now you can draw circles the size of a basketball on the ceiling while you maintain your hips level. Now go the other direction for five. Keep your neck soft, four, your hips are lifted. And then lower that foot. Exchange feet. Now remember, you could just leave both feet on the floor. Draw a circle about the size of a basketball, uh, like a plump basketball. Now we're taking five the other way. Neck is soft. Lower that foot. Lower that spine. Perfect. All right, hug the legs. Now take a moment. I'm going to double up my mat. I want to offer a posture called rolling like a ball. So I'm going to double my mat so that my spine has plenty of cushion. Now the first option is just to stretch and hug. If you would like to add on, lift up your chin and try to let me move my whole body back a little bit. Try to keep your feet off the ground and you're a ball. One. Now notice your knees. They're going to try to kick. Don't let them kick. Three. Four, one more, five. Okay, now take your hands together, tap the floor, and wrap your feet. Now your legs look like you're a little frog. Now you can stay here and try to balance. One, two, three. One, I'm not touching my feet to the floor. If you'd like to add on, go backwards, inhale, and up. One, two, three. Up here, one, two, three, one, two, three. This is optional. If this is not for you, just take an inner thigh stretch. One, two, three, one, two, three. One more time. Good, Rick. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Let me show you the other one. If you would like, you can hold onto your ankles, extend, extend. You open like rock and up. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Inhale and exhale. Good. Two. One more. Inhale and exhale. Perfect timing for a bound angle. Let your feet come together. Let your, um, you can open up your big toe here if you want. All right. Now you can let your elbows push down uh -huh. and just relax. Neck is soft. Good. Ten. Nine, just let everything, just let everything melt away. Five. Four, three, two, and one. We're going to come back to a position in just a moment. For now, use your abdominals to try to go down for 30 seconds. If that's too hard, just go down and uh, wait for us there at a full body stretch. Hold that, and if you need water, grab it. You're going to take 30 counts down. Three, four, five. Now you can squeeze your knees together. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now, as you get down here, you might put your feet further away from your booty. 11, 12, good string, 13, 15, 17. Good, good pan. The arms up is harder. 10, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Full body stretch. Shift through your body. Now we are going to take the right uh, leg up in the air with your hands beside your hips. Now take an inhale and draw a circle. Now this one's bigger than a basketball. This is about as big as my mom with the, the law here. Three, four, five, six. Good, and your goal is to keep the shoulders glued. Now we are gonna go the other way. One, two, three, four. And use those abs to keep the ribs down. Inhale. Now we're gonna hold a hamstring stretch after that 10th one. You can take your hand behind your leg and you can point and flex if you want. It adds a little component and you can act like you're grabbing through your toes. Now pull the toes back and hold. And then exhale, lift that down. Let your leg up. Now your hands are by your side. You're gonna take a circle. Now shoulders are down. See how they tempted to come up. Another way to modify with this, if the shoulders keep coming up or if the ribs keep trying to pop off the floor is to put a pillow underneath the head and shoulders or ramp one up under your shoulders and two underneath your head. So your shoulders are down after you take this 10th one. We're gonna go the other way, big circle, 10. Now you're gonna feel a little hamstring stretch. Muscles around the hip are working, five, four, three, two, inhale and exhale. Now you're gonna bring that in. You can point and flex. Sorry, I did the wrong one. We're gonna go up into a hamstring stretch. We'll come back to that one. Now it's almost like you're reaching for your foot. You can pull the toes back if you'd like to add on. The leg that's on the ground, you're pouring to the ground. Feel the eyes soften. Now let's go back to both legs getting hugged into the belly and just add a movement with the ankle that feels restorative, big, good. We are gonna take a, a corkscrew with the both legs together. Now you can take your hands beside you. You can lift up the legs and imagine there's a ribbon between your legs as a unit, draw a circle. And you, the bigger the circle, the harder it is. Go the other direction, two. Three, knees are long. Four. Five. Six, knees are long, good. Seven, see if they go lower, it's harder. Eight. Nine, good. One more. 10. All right, perfect. Hug those legs in and just stretch. Five, four. Now we have a bicycle possibility here. Your hands can be down and begin imagining and moving the feet as if there's a pedal system in the air. Now, when you move that those pedals away from you, your ribs, um, they're challenged more to stay down. So in closer to you, it's easier. In further away, it's harder. Now, of course, we're gonna to try to go in and out, but if you wanna make it harder, you're gonna go all the way up until your bicycle 
get your booty and only on the floor. And then your shoulder blades are going to go all the way up and back down. Now you can move your arms up and down and up and down and four and bicycle down and three. Ooh, I like it. And two, if you want it harder, cross those arms, right? Ah, good, good. And one, who felt their abs? Take a full body stretch. Woo, yeah, shift, shift, shift. Really good. All right, we are gonna take the right knee across and a knee down twist. Now your left hand can hold that right knee in place. Your right arm can even do a few circles. And if you feel like you're at a good place, your palm can be up towards the sky. Your left hand can get heavy on your hip. Knee down twist. You feel how the exhales let your muscles go. 10. Five. Two. And then wide and slowly come back. Take your right knee long. Take your left knee across, your right hand holds onto that knee. Now the left arm might do a few circles. Your hip starts dropping more with the exhales. Your hand presses more. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and on the one, just keep on rolling till you're on your side. I'm going to adjust my mat just a little bit so that you, you can too if you were having it folded like I did. So you have a a right elbow underneath you and you're going to pitch your hips just a little bit. There's an angle here. Your elbow is directly underneath your shoulder. We're going to inhale forward kick. Now exhale back. Now inhale and exhale. The modification here is to lie on that arm. Inhale and exhale. Good. Lift up four. Good. That's it. Really good. Five. Good stream. Six. All right. Seven. Eight, nine, and 10. Now we're gonna take this arm underneath us, take the bottom leg and let it do the kicking forward and back, point and flex. Really reach, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 
and then 10. Now we're going to do this on the other side. So when you go over, you're going to prop yourself up with your elbow. Prop yourself up with your elbow. You're going to take a kick forward and back. Your inhale and your exhale, two. Good. Three. Now, if that's not good, you can always take a bound angle stretch or a bridge. Five. Good, Polly. Six. Seven. Yep. You can take bridge if you need to. Eight is a modification. There you go. Nine. And ten. Now, the arm comes down. The top leg gets out of the way. Your bottom leg's going to kick forward and back. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now the belly's going to be down this time. Your head is on the arms like a pillow. Try to relax your neck and lift up your right leg. Now your left. You're pivoting off your hip bone. So your leg comes up without the hips rocking. Your belly pulls up, pivoting off your hip, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now both legs are going to come up and you're going to flutter just like you're uh, have a kickboard in your arms. You're going to flood your legs like you're in the pool. Ten more. Nine. Eight. Next off. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Lower. Now put your hands down. We're going to curl those back toes under. If you can do it from here, push up into a down dog. If you need to put your knees on the floor to get up, you can. Ah, let your heels press. That should feel like a calf stretch. Press your hands. Bend one knee. Keep pushing. Bend the other. Both heels. Five. All right, now from here, we're going to take a plank. You could do this with your hands, or if you need to do this on your elbows, you can. Pull 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Good. Now, if you feel strong, go into a down dog again. If you need a break, please do, because we've been on our hands for a while. Five, neck is soft. Four, three, two, and one. Take an inhale, come back to plank. If you need to go to your elbows, please do. 10, nine, good, eight, seven, that's it, good, good. six, five, four, three, two, hips up. I know the arms are working, that's why I'm giving you it out. If you need to child pose, please do. From down dog, inhale one more time. Hold, 10, this is plank, good. There you go, go to your elbows if you need to, nine, eight, really strong, seven, push strong, six, five, four, three, two. All right, now the knees are gonna go down. You're gonna put your uh, belly down, bend the elbows and touch your upper back. Five, four, three, Pretend I'm pushing on your hips, two. Now, straighten the hands. We're gonna take a set of push-ups. You could do these with the square. You could do these on the wall. You could do these on the knee. So here's a set, or this, or toes, or wall. 10, nine, ear in line with the shoulder. Eight, seven, really good. Six, good. Five, four, 
Good, maybe look down, Pam. Three, see what works. Yeah, for your neck. Two, that looks better. And one. Now, let your knees down. Walk your fingers over to the side. Any side's fine. We're going to do both. Keep, 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 keep walking. Now, let your head rest. Breathe into that side. You're stretching. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Inhale. Walk it over to the other side. I'm just changing my angle so you can see me. But basically walking your fingers far, 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 pinky and walk away from the shoulder, over uh, from the hip, stretching. Breathing. Nine. Walking more. Eight. If you feel like you're opening. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And inhale. Now come back up. Walk it over to hands and knees. Now we're going to take five cat cows with the knees down, but if you know right away that you want to take your toes under and lift your knees off the floor, you can lift up round two, three, four, five. Okay. Rest. If you'd like to do five more knees down or knees up, let's go up five. Knees down or up, your choice. Four, three, two, one, and then rest. All right, we're gonna take a side plank. I'm facing you. You can extend your legs. Your feet can be stacked for a little bit harder. At first, hold. Now your bottom arm is perpendicular. This looks great, 10. Head is back. Now the head sometimes tends to do this own like dropping thing. So keep some energy in the neck. It's in line with the rest of your body, the rest of the spine. Good. You're strong, feel all that. Inhale, lower with care so your shoulder never collapses. Go to the other side. I'm always, I'm generally gonna face you so that you can see me. But if you need to flip me the other way, it's okay. I can see you form. And up. now you can stack your feet if you want it harder. There you go. Good, hold. Good. Really strong. Good, I like the energy in the neck, it's not dropping. Good, head back a little bit, inhale. And we're gonna exhale and lower down. All right, let's go back to the other side. Anytime you need to, grab a step. Mm. Okay, your arm is under. <clears throat> Feet lift up. All right, inhale. We're going to thread. We're exhaling and rotating the spine. The other arm goes up. Exhale. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and lowering the hip. Perfect. Let's do the other. Vertical. Up. One. Let's keep going. 
two, three, four, five, six, and lower perfect all right let's go back to that side plank now you can flip your mat under okay now we are going to take an elbow to knee this is a harder possibility so if you just need to hold a plank you can but you can take your arm over your ear now get your ready. get ready inhale this is possible elbow to knee touch and extend touch good or you could just do the elbow i like it three Lift up the bottom hip, four, good, five, six, very good, nice for you. seven, and just hold a plank if you want to, Karen, eight, good, or just do the elbow, nine, good, lift up your hip, ten, and other side, like it. All right, let's go to the other. The breath is really important, so if you're taking a modification, Keep doing that breath in and out. It helps with the parasympathetic system. So go up with the arm, lift up your hip. Now, if you're adding on, you could just do the elbow. You could just do the knee. Put them together, it's harder. And lift up the bottom hip. Good, pull a chain, bah. like a triple pull. Six, good. Seven, bottom hip is working. Good, nine. Now 10, inhale and exhale. All right, we're gonna do a belly down. I'm turning because I can um, pivot my mat a little easier. I'd like you to grab your roller if you have it. If you don't have it, you can do this on the floor. It's okay. The belly's gonna be on the mat. You're gonna take your roller in front of you with the arms on it. I'd like to integrate the roller a little bit more in these mat classes. So we're gonna take an inhale. Now this is the move with the roller. And Polly, if you don't have it, use your hands on the floor and press up. Good, one. All right, inhale, lift, two. Oh yes, this is such one of my favorites. Three, four, five, Six. You're moving at your own pace. I'm just giving a comfortable cadence lift. Seven. Good. You can keep your elbows long at the top of the. Yeah, you can keep them long if you want, Pam. It'll be even harder on your triceps because I know you like the more advanced. Yep. All right. Stay up. Your elbows are long. Your hands are pushing. Ten. Inhale. And then exhale, very good. Now we are gonna get rid of that. If you can, put your hands behind you and interlace the fingers. If they don't interlace, just put them beside your hip. Lift up, breathe. Ten. Chin tuck, seven. That looks great. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, hold, inhale, and exhale, relax. And now we're gonna add on, the fingers are near the temples. Lift up your back, lower your back. Lift up your back, lower your back. Now lift up a leg with the back, and then lower, and lift, and then lift. And lift, and lift. Now add rotation if you'd like. When your right leg's up, you rotate the torso, left shoulder, right shoulder, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. All right, now bend the knees. If you would like, either just rock 
or you could interlace your fingers, but if you'd like to, add a bow, which is um, in Pilates, rocking your hands to your feet. So take which one you need to. You're going to inhale, meaning you could just rest. You could put your hands on the floor, or you could interlace them, or hold them to the feet. Ten. You can move a little bit with that breath. Lower. We're going to do it again. Inhale. Push. Go up. Ten. Good. You could just do swan. Eight. Seven. Inhale. And exhale. All right. Now, if you'd like to take a child's pose, you can. You can uh, pick your toes curled under to add a little bit of a foot stretch. Your arms go stretching out. Five. Let your arms stretch. Let your toes curl under. Good. I'm going to take a look. Five. Looks really good. Four. Three. Two. Inhale. And exhale. All right. Bring that roller underneath your shins. If you don't have a roller, just do a plank on your elbows. Front plank on your elbows. You know how we did them on our hands, possibly the other way. Some of you went to your elbows, but now we're on our elbows. You're going to go out. You can hold. That could be the move. Now, if you'd like to, you can bend your knees under. If you don't have a roller, just hold. One, two. And then to get off the tibia, you internally rotate the femurs a little bit. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, good, Karen, you're doing great. 10 and rest. Okay, now you can rest with your booty in the air and the hips back, or you could rest pancake style. We're gonna take the legs long. Now the knees are gonna go to the, uh, either do a plank or the knees left and the knees right. You can also just do a plank. Good, and good, that's the way, good, clever. Pull the knees under. And you're, yeah, you're mogling. Knees go to one corner, knees go to the other. Four, three, two, one, and then rest for a moment. Any way you want to. Really good. Now this next one's gonna be a hip lift. You're gonna pike your hips up and then go into plank. Now, when you're ready, take an inhale. You're gonna lift up your hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, good. Seven, good. Eight, effective, aren't they? Nine, 10, oh my goodness, very good. Child pose, bend your elbows, so good, five. Lie on your back. Now we're gonna put our feet on top of the roller. You're gonna lie down, you're gonna put your feet, grab a sip if you need it. Feet on, now if you don't have a roller, do this on the floor. Take an inhale, lift up, bridge, and down. Good. There you go. Three, neck is soft. Four, five, six, seven, a little bit of an unstable surface. Eight. Nine, hold it up, 10 little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lower down, hands to your feet, and hold. Five, four, three, two. And one, feet together, little bound angle. Good, five, 
Yep, reach through there. Your feet could be together and your knees could be wide if you want that variation. There you go, Karen. And inhale. Now we're gonna put one foot on the other side of that foam roller. The leg is up. Now, you can either take some basic crunches or you can come up. One, climb a tree. Two, now you can just do crunches if you need to. Three, you can come all the way up to your booty if you can. Four, now five, switch it while you're up here. Other leg, go down, five, come up. Now, if it's too hard, do a basic crunch, do a hamstring curl. Try to make your arms smooth and not throw. One more, stay up. Now, the roller's here already. You're gonna put it underneath your ankles. You're gonna put your hands behind you. We're gonna take an inhale. We're gonna exhale, lift up. All right, hold, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lower. Now, if you'd like to add on, we're going to add on some leg pulls. There you go. Good, Michelle. Go up. You could also do, yep, two. There you go. Three, lift up. Four, looking good. Five, six, good. Seven, you could also do a shoulder stretch if you need to. Eight, nine, ten. Lift the hips, inhale, and exhale lower. Now, this next one is going to be an inner thigh stretch. Place your legs really wide. Inhale. Go on down. Now, if you need to use that roller to sit on, that's a way to get your booty up. Mm -hmm. Neck is soft. Just letting go. Left hand goes to the right knee, go up and over. Option, 10. Ah, that looks great, hey. Seven. Eight. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And inhale. Now the other side, your inner hand, your right hand goes to your inner knee. Go up and over. Ah, so good. Rotation is always nice. Five, four, three, two, inhale. Now, if you go right down the middle for about 10, you're going to feel a little release. So just let your feet, let your neck go 10. Five. Now inhale and come back up. How are we doing? Can we do a little mermaid here? The 
One knee is like a triangle, the other knee is like a triangle. All right, your right hand's gonna go to your left knee. You're gonna go inhaling up and exhale over. All right, now if that doesn't work, yeah, yep. And um, yeah, you basically the goal is, is uh, lateral flexion. You see how you can make it your own by rotating? Yeah. That hand that's in the air, I think someone's pulling it. Now that hand that's in the air, put it behind you and rotate. Look over your shoulder. On the exhale, unwind. Take those legs the other way. This is, I always say this, but this is one of my favorite stretches. Okay, left hand to right knee, go up and over. Now, you, the image is up so that you don't collapse into your ribs. And hand rotation. Uh, yeah, just sit legs out in front, Polly, I think. Is that, yeah, is that okay? Yeah, grab that other leg and it'll help you leverage. Yep, you did it. There you go. Let me see how everybody's doing. Now really try to breathe. Good. Good Jean. Really try to breathe into the rib cage that's exposed. Now act like someone's pulling your arm. Pulling, 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 pulling. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two, inhale, hand down, add rotation, look over your shoulder, ah, five, so good, you're lifting up and you're rotating, keep going, I'm looking at you, that looks great. Take another inhale, come forward, sit any way you need to. And we're gonna take the right ear to the right shoulder. So act like there's a weight, good. Now your left arm reaches down. Good. All right. Relax both shoulders. Uh huh. Now just, Make this your own. If you need to tuck a little chin to chest, like that one feels really good to me, you can do that. Just reach a lot with this arm, the bottom arm. Breathing. No, up. Ooh, feels good, huh? Up and over. That may be enough. Maybe you reach the other arm down. Maybe you take the other arm over. Very good. Yep. Um, Jean, that's the hand. Yep, there you go. Now you could chin to chest like uh, you're smelling a flower, but experiment. Where do you feel it? Like I feel a really good one there on the levator. Breathe, relax the shoulder that's helping your hand pull down. Hmm, that fireplace image. 
Relaxing. Mm -hmm. You guys have been telling me you've got some upper trapezius tightness, so we're going to stretch that area. Notice how it starts to give in. You're gentle, though. You're not, you're not forcing it. We are going to take a spine lift. Now, chin tuck. This may be all you need right down the middle, but if you want to add a little bit more, hands, elbows. And then inhale, you know, come up. Good. All right, so we're going to take a hand to your heart, hand to your belly. And just take a moment. I haven't posted these pictures yet, but I went down the uh, Morris Bridge, Hillsborough River. And they call it Old Florida. So I think I saw about 10 alligators. They're just floating down on a blue kayak. And you see, I think they're called spoonbills. They were pink like a flamingo, but different shades of pink three or four in an area. Lily pads flat on the pond. Some of the lily pads are curling up. Cypress trees, little nubs stepping up and then really large, looks like waves of fans all up the trees. And great northern egret, it looked like a snow egret. And just floating down, turtles on the trees. The shade from the trees makes a perfect temperature and all sorts of birds I don't even know the names of. Aningas, the ones that sort of freeze with their arms up, their wings up, their eye and their wings, just floating down, alligators sunning, just floating down. Just imagine that peaceful scenery. I heard uh, the red-shouldered hawk Just take a moment to feel that sense of peace, that sense of rest and relaxation. Sunlight filtering through the Spanish moss and the trees, and just how peaceful that is. Notice what other care you can do for yourself today. And let the other hand from the belly go to the top hand over your heart and just make a promise to do another self-care act today. Whenever you're ready, let your eyes open and come back into the room. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me on the Hillsborough River. Thank you so much. Bye guys, thank you.